New at six, students in Norfolk State University say they are in a tight spot when it comes to parking on campus. And they say there's not enough space and often have to park on city streets instead. And Sparaco breaks down what NSU students call campus parking problems. Going through the throes of college is never easy. No, it's not. <laughs> the back-to-back -back classes and activities create a widespread buzz across Norfolk State University's campus. And lately, things have gotten pretty cramped. Every Norfolk State student that has a car on campus knows that after 6 p.m., they're like nine times out of 10 not going to get a parking spot. Norfolk State University recently announced more than 1,300 freshmen started this year with an additional 345 transfer students. That's a 17% increase in enrollment just this year. But of course, more students means fewer parking spaces. I'm bringing my car on campus. I'm paying to have my car on campus. It's a problem this senior political science major says is not worth the cost. I am work full time. I go to school full time and sometimes I don't have the money to pay that extra parking fine. But finances and convenience aside, the safety concern is driving the students' frustration since many say they are pushed to rely on street parking. A lot of times I would have to call some of my guy friends and say, like, hey, do you mind walking with me back to campus because I don't really feel safe? And I just feel like it shouldn't be fair for students to have to park off campus and also risk the safety of their cars getting broken into. Even with less than a year left until graduation, this senior says she'll continue to confront the university's administration to create more space. We understand that Rome wasn't built in one day. However, we just want something that is more convenient for us, especially for the amount of money that we're paying to go here and something that will keep us safe. Because a lot of times, like the break-ins that have been happening on campus, I guarantee you that they would not have been happening if there was adequate security as well as adequate parking on this campus. In Norfolk, I'm Ann Sparacco for 13 News Now. We reached out to Norfolk State University about the concern. A spokesperson sent us this statement saying university administrators want to clarify the parking complaints are mainly connected to certain residential hall parking lots and not general parking. As a short term strategy, administrators with the university announced they are considering reallocating parking areas to better accommodate on campus students.